say Scott because I'm about ready to head out to do a workout class but we are working on um, getting the island painted and we knew that we wanted like a navy blue but um, since we only have a couple of different sample sizes which you guys may have seen me paint um, some samples before about a month or two ago um, and then we also have like a dark blue color that we used on that pop foot tub but they're like sample sizes and like leftover paint. <laughs> uh, so we decided instead of buying all new paint, we're just gonna mix the three together and see what happens. <laughs> so here goes nothing. So this is the dark night. I like that color as it is. Yeah, um, but we don't think there's enough to cover this whole island wall here, the this side is a wall really nice here, blue also. Oh, and then. Yeah. The wall behind got that so it's like three sides of the island need to be painted and then they're just the lower so it's not you know too much space but we just don't want to risk it so it's better just to mix mix them do we have a mixing stick we do great somewhere. somewhere you guys remember i got these a while back and um oh, oh my no. gosh they're all like super is oh, that... this is the navy what happened to it well, they've gotten warm, but I don't know if I actually shook this one up, so oh, let's reset here. So this was, um, what, the marine one? It was called Anchors Away, that's right. So it was like a very marine color. And then our Dark Knight, what we used on the tub, has more of a green, like a uh, sea color. And Scott's working on the navel, which is just straight dark blue and this is more of a light blue so these could counteract and not change the color too much i'm sure it'll look great no matter what it's so. a custom color we'll have to do the math on <laughs> no, the code. if it doesn't work we'll just buy like one color that we do want and just these were full, it. and then this was just about half full so i think this is going to be perfect and this is a professional <laughs> paint shaking method i don't want to spill it i don't want you to spill it this is a dangerous place to spill a lot of dark paint. <laughs> walk, 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 walk. Kind of rolling it inside and folding it on itself. I'm sure there's an exact science to this <laughs> paint mixing business. I think tell that to a paint shaker. <laughs> oh yeah, it's going to be nice. It did lighten up. I think. Nice. And I'm going to leave Scott to it, and then um, when I come back from my spin class, I will show you guys. Unless Scott decides to do a time lapse. Probably not. He's not always on top of remembering to set video like that, but I will show you the finished product. Oops, it's been like a weekend, and uh, I didn't show you guys the island, so here it is. Here we are. It looks fantastic. I love it. I love the chairs that we got at the at-home store. I love that Scott left the wood supports plain, so it makes a good contrast. Rowdy says hello. We still have a little bit of finished work to do, like having that outlet um, cover put on and stuff like that. But I mean, look how good it is um, against the white and then the gold drawer poles. Oh, I can't get enough. I'm incredibly happy with how this turned out. We got the wallpaper done, we got a bunch of painting done. Paint Island Blue. That can go bye-bye. And then we just need to caulk the backsplash a little bit. Um, and there's a trim piece that we need to put. It's really simple, uh, but you might not even notice it. But this, we had to take it off to put the bridge in. So now we just have to put this thing back on. So it's all white and cohesive. Now with the kitchen pretty much done, um, we can turn our efforts to the living room, which is still a time capsule of 1950. If we can do the kitchen the way we did, then I know that we can get the living room done as well. Hope you enjoyed the video.